what's up everybody and welcome back so now that we can move our player by using the joystick and we can toggle between the mobile inputs and pc inputs so but we you may have seen that our player is not playing any animation so in this episode we are going to work on the animations so uh, before proceeding to animations we have to see something so on our player you can see that our player comes with some default scripts which is player controller and actions so i have discussed the action i think in the previous video so it is a very simple script it is uh, just going to uh, set some boolean and floats in the animator to play the desired animation so if we call the stay function so we know that to uh, play the stay animation or the idle animation in the animator we have to set the boolean aiming to false and the speed to zero same with the uh, walk we have to set the aiming to false and speed to 0 0.5 and for run the speed should be one and uh, for attack death and damage and we will see how to use this action script uh, but let's uh, go back to our player controller which is uh, which comes with our player now in the animator before uh, discussing the player controller you can see that on our player we have a component called animator but in the controller you can see that we don't have any controller for that because the controller is going to be assigned at runtime why because uh, the player has uh, four animators so you can find that in the controllers in your character folder so in here we can see we have a controller for freehand so if the player is not holding any gun then the animations are going to be different and if the player is holding a pistol then the animations will be different because if there is no pistol then we don't have a reload animation and we don't have a fire animation but when the player has a pistol we have two extra animations same if the player has a rifle then the reloading will be different and uh, there may be other animations that are specific if that are required if we have a rifle controller these animators will be placed uh, right here these controllers will be assigned to our controller and uh, the player controller script is going to do that uh, so let's uh, discuss that script so in here we have some public reference to our bones which are the right gun bone and left gun bone which is going to be used by that script to uh, position the uh, weapons and uh, the main the important thing here is this public arsenal array so arsenal is a structure that you will see right here so it has some properties uh, one of them is name then we have joints and then we have a runtime animator controller so <clears throat> now what this set arsenal function is going to do it is going to check if the player has no weapon in his hand then it is going to assign the hand controller which is without any weapon but in here you can see that we can assign different arsenals here so one of them is empty so if the if there is no weapon then the controller will be free hand controller and we have also a rifle here so if we have a rifle then the, the player is going to use is sniper rifle controller now we can increase that size and add the further controllers right here so uh, this arsenal set arsenal function is going to check if we have a gun then we are going to uh, assign the gun controller if we have no gun then we are going to assign the hand controller and so on so uh, let's see how to use these this action script in our player so now we are going to uh, play two animations one of them is idle so if the player is not moving then we are going to uh, 
call the idle or the stay function right here so if the player is moving then we are going to call the uh, walk or run function so to detect if the player is moving or not we can use the input direction dot magnitude which is right there so if uh, this is returning zero and this is returning zero then it means the input direction is going to be zero so if it is zero we can check that by taking the magnitude so if the magnitude is greater than zero it means the player is uh, giving the input and our player is moving so we are simply going to get the reference of our actions script <coughs> and we are going to call the run function in the else if the magnitude is zero then we are going to call the stay function so uh, you notice that we use get component action because the player and action these both scripts are on the same game object which is our player so all of these that you can see the transform animator action player controller these are all the components of player so we can get any component by using the get component so uh, let's save that and quickly test it out so now you can see that our player is animating and he's uh, rotating his hand if you can see now the moment we start our player is going to play the run animation and if we stop input vector input do, uh, direction dot magnitude is going to be zero and player is going to be in the default stay animation okay now also you can see that we have another button here uh, which is our <coughs> this button so we are going to add uh, some more buttons for firing running jumping aiming etc but uh, right now if you can see uh, on our button we have a component called fixed button now let's open this script so in the script you can see we have uh, some interfaces uh, eye pointer up handler eye pointer down handler and eye pointer click down uh, click handler now why are we using this script uh, we can also you know add a button component right here and we can use the on click function so if the player clicks on it the character is going to play the jump animation but this is not going to work why because let's say in the player in the player we have some function here now if we assign that square that function to our button so for to do that we need a reference to our player so we have to drag the player here and on the my player we have to uh, use that function but because we are going to instantiate our player at runtime so if we uh, remove the player from the hierarchy this reference is going to be lost and we will have a null reference exception so uh, to avoid that that's why we are using these interfaces now i pointer up handler we can say that uh, you can override that function that function to use the on pointer up event so we don't now need uh, any on click or on pointer up event we can simply override that events and access that events by you implementing these interfaces and we can uh, assign a function at a runtime using script so otherwise we have to drag the player in here and call the specific function so uh, now let's see what these interfaces ha have so if I uh, hold the control key and click on that interface you will see that it has only one function which is on pointer up same 
for on pointer down handler we have a function that we can use on pointer down so if the player uh, comes here and click on this button so this interface is going to call that function so uh, that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to continue our animations and uh, see you in next video